This is a strange new thing in smartphones. It's curved phones. I have the first two curved phones uh, ever made, the LG G Flex and the Samsung Galaxy Round. Um, it's curved phones are kind of like the hairless cats of the mobile world. No one really is sure why they exist, uh, and they're a little weird. So um, we tried them out, we checked them out. They're kind of cool. They, there's no question, I think the Galaxy Round has a little more um, ergonomic when you have it in the pocket. The G Flex is kind of neat because the curve is more dramatic here and it kind of bends and it sort of resists that bend, which is kind of cool. You notice these phones are gigantic. They're big. These are big phones. These are phablets. The first ones came out in Korea. When these spread to the rest of the world, like North America, we'll probably see curved phones in smaller screen sizes, though that curve is probably going to be a little less dramatic because it's a smaller screen. The concept is known for movie theaters. Uh, all movie theater screens are curved. The LG was the first company to take that into TVs. You see the high-end TVs now having a curved screen. And now, with the G Flex, we're taking that concept into smartphones. What, what is enabling this? What's the technology that, that is uh, happened that is allowing us to build curved screens and phones now? So it's, it's the OLED screen that is now uh, flexible. So when you think of OLED uh, organic light emitting diodes, it's, it's a film. And the housing for the film is now flexible, so you can actually curve it and, and bend it. In the future, you will see displays that can curve around your arm, hmm. so you could potentially see, you know, smartphones that you can wear on your on your wrist. I'm going to surprise you here because I actually happen to have mm -hmm. your your competitor here. This is the Samsung Galaxy Round, which is also a curved phone, but it's a slightly different curve. You can see with the Samsung. That model has a curve, um, I guess, I'm not sure even what to call it, like horizontal. This one's horizontal, that one's vertical, or vice versa. Yep. Whatever, they're perpendicular curves to each other. Um, so why, why, why would, is this a superior design to that one? The curve top to bottom um, in horizontal mode, I think, works better uh, as a curved screen for watching movies or, mm -hmm. or just and being entertained by your device for hours and hours. I understand the back of this, you know, it actually kind of self heals too. How does that work? Yeah, so we employed a resin, a, a certain compound from the automobile industry that uh, protects the back of the phone from the accidental wear and tear. So little scratches that you might get from your keys or so, they self heal. So the, the pain really corrects itself. Um, within a couple hours, you know it what it does. On me. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, that might have, might have been a little. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that would have totally ruined the phone they broke. <laughs> oh wow, that was badass. All right, well we'll give it a couple hours. <laughs> you tell me how that goes. <laughs> Curved phones, they're here. They're a little weird. Are they going to be the next big thing in smartphones or are they always going to remain a niche product? You tell us. Leave a comment or at the very least subscribe and maybe watch a few more of these other cool videos we've done.